I'm so sorry, Mr. Davenport, but I'm afraid that you only have one week left. I suggest that you gather your friends and family and start to decide what is going to happen. But I have no family. This is Mr. Davenport. At some point in my life, you have affected me. I have little time left on this earth, and I have no one to distribute my wealth to. Come to my manor house on the hill in Henley on the 25th of March to play a game for a chance to win a share of my wealth. Failure to show up will result in immediate execution. Good day to you all, and welcome to the Davenport Estate. I've recently been informed that I have an advanced heart disease and it's not that long until that heart braces me and takes me for good. I have a large sum of money, yet no family nor friends to receive it, so I've invited all of you here to this table to play a simple game. It's quite basic. All you have to do is take a marble out of this bag and one million is yours. There are 50 marbles in here, however I do not want to be going to my grave alone. In this bag there is one red marble. If you pull it out, it will be game over. Any questions? Yes. How did you end up with such a large income? Stocks, my love. I invested and they played ball. I see. Right, shall we get on with this business? Richard, please place your hand in the bag. Take at least one. Wait, why am I here then? Why me? Many years ago, we were on the phone together. Mr Davenport, your car insurance has doubled this month. What? This is preposterous! I'm sorry sir, as you've been in an accident this year, I'm afraid your car insurance has to be increased by quite the margin. Yes, I do remember. So, how many are you going to take then? I think I'll play it safe and take six. Are you a man of your word or a wuss? Please go. How much do you insist on taking? Oh my gosh, this is insane. Let me take out 20. I surely cannot pull out the red one. Wow, we have a confident one. 10, 11, 12, 13. 14. Davenport, sir. Richard knew you from a phone call. 
How do you know me? Well, what do you do now? Well, I'm a full-time influencer. Well, before that. Oh, right. I, w I was a receptionist at a hotel. Remember me? The man who asked for a refund on the room? I'm sorry, Mr Davenport. As part of our company policy, if you spend more than five hours in the room, we cannot allow a refund. This is unbelievable. I lifted up my bed sheets and there were dirty sheets. <laughs> That's right. I remember. Funny that was. <laughs> Never mind on that. Take the last five. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Congratulations, 20 million pounds early will be transferred to your account at the end of the event. Ah, oh, third time's the charm, is that what they say? I wish you... Sir, if you don't mind, do you know Lily better than the rest of us? I do indeed. Lily here was my first personal assistant. I hired her after my first big break in investments. She took charge of my social life. But you barely paid me at all. One more word at you and you're out of this game. Well, you gonna take any then? Actually, I will. 30 for me, please. Taking 30 million of your money will make up for you replacing me. Go ahead. I'd love to see how this goes. Well, that's five. 24, 25. 26. Well, you know the rules. You have to take out as many as you declare. It works. Looks like I'm not going to die alone. What? No, this is a joke. You're sick. <laughs> That's one thing you can all take from this. Green. Smugness will never work out in your favour. Nevertheless, we still have one more to take from the bag. Emily, my dear, what are you thinking? This game is madness. I want to refuse to take any marbles. You must take at least one. Okay, I will, I will. But can I just ask you something? Did you ever eat at the Avarice Inn in Crowthorn? I did, you're right. I recognise you. You're that man. The man who spilt a large glass of red wine that cost me a fortune dry clean. Yes, you are that girl. And for you, sir, the glass of Chateau Lafayette. How dare you! Let me speak to your manager! I do apologise for that, Mr. Davenport. Apology accepted. Now take a marble. Congratulations, you think. My father and I will be on to the banks tomorrow to transfer your winnings. Well done. No, my money's going to Lily's family. She got bought into this and wrongfully died. No, I simply wouldn't have that. She could have played it safe like you and only took one marble. It's her fault. You didn't be greedy. You took what you had to to survive. The insatiable hunger that consumes us all drives us to desire more and more. What is it about wealth and power that makes us willing to sacrifice everything in pursuit of it? Is it the thrill of the chase? The rush of the adrenaline that comes with taking risks and pushing the limits? Or is it the fear of being left behind, of not having enough, of missing out on something that others have? No matter the reason, greed has the power to corrupt even the purest of souls. It twists our thoughts and perverts our values, making us forget about the things that, that truly matter in life. Don't worry, you still get that one in.